ladies and gentlemen, you might want to clench your butt cheeks for this one because apparently the BBC Samurai is still raging wildfires in Japan. And while he was raging wildfires in Japan, we got the Concord situation, right? And you're not going to believe it, but apparently Ubisoft also did respond. And, and you're not going to believe what they said. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Now, you're not going to believe what Ubisoft said. They said that this game has a very strong, positive community sentiment overall. Overall. We're going to get into this one. Wait for it. Roll it. Yes, the Assassin's Creed. A lot of people have had enough of this shit in Japan. A lot of the story of the Black Samurai was built off of a guy who wrote a book who basically made a lot of shit up. So Thomas yeah. Lockley, the mastermind behind false history of Yasuke as a samurai, has had his career and the entire program erased. It's over. In the, quote, assassin problem, the University of Japan erased the career of associate professor no! Rockley. Bro, they're not playing around with this dude, man. Holy shit. There is no way. So you're saying that they are removing his stuff? In, and he's in Japan. He was a professor, right? Thomas Lockley. And, and context, this is the guy that actually faked Yasuke being a samurai. So we're learning that he was behind editing the, the Wikipedia. He made the book. And he was playing like the double agent role kind of guy, right? Because, yeah, we, uh, we heard this like in Japan in interviews. He would be like, uh, well, I don't know if Yasuke was a samurai. We don't have enough information. Everywhere else he was like, yes! He was a samurai! Yes! Yasuke was a samurai! Yasuke was a samurai! But while he is in Japan and people asked him, he was like, hey, we, we don't have enough information. So he was playing that double agent kind of role. And it's funny to me that uh, people are also calling him that he looks like Tom Cruise as well, which is just wild to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on. But wait for it. Roll they it. blocked me. They blocked him too? Man, Bumble got cut. blocked by Ubisoft for making this tweet. Yeah, shut it down! It seems like also it's very hard for us to know why exactly something like this happened. I mean, it could have just been a readjustment. Well, let me explain how this ain't no readjustment. In my quest to explain why this happened, I discovered Ubisoft had his earning report just two days ago. So naturally, oh, I immediately assumed a revenue miss caused it. But nope. Ubisoft nope. beat estimates and even <laughs> reported strong guidance for future earnings. So I immediately thought, how could they provide strong guidance yeah. after the disastrous reception of both Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows? Uh, and then I listened uh, to the earnings call. Uh, the gameplay for our two highly anticipated upcoming premium titles, Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows, was not only praised by players and critics alike, but also highlighted the cutting edge capabilities of our game engine. What we have factored in is a strong launch for Star Wars Outlaws that reflects- Strong launch, uh, man. Okay, guys, I'll tell him in French because I don't think he understands you guys when you say it in English and in Japanese. Now, I do speak French. Because I'm in Montreal, Canada. I'm in Montreal and I do apologize on their behalf. Ubisoft is like approximately like 20, 30 minutes away from where I'm at, okay? Like genuinely, genuinely, like I do apologize on their behalf, guys, because they're not gonna apologize. They're not gonna apologize, okay? So <laughs> somebody gotta apologize on their behalf. But I'll tell him in French, yo, Yves Guillemot, ton game est caca, bro. Personne aime ton game. Get ça, man. C'est la mort, okay? C'est la mort. I told him, guys. I told him. I hope he understands now. Indeed, it's uh, among the, the most awaited game of the industry this year and reflecting a, a really strong, uh, positive uh, community sentiment. And also, uh, we expect the Shadows to be uh, the most ambitious title of the series. It should do very well through the busy season. Okay, so um, and when you talk about uh, it being the most ambitious, mm -hmm. are you hoping for it to be the best-selling Assassin's Creed game? Is that how I can read those that commentary? Could you talk about pre-orders for both Outlaws and, and Shadows and how they compare to previous titles? So in terms of... Um, 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 we, uh, we don't disclose nor comment... Uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now, I'll be honest here. I was initially going to say this, and I'll still say this. Uh, but, uh, guys, get ready for what's to come as well, okay? We got more stuff here. But I was going to say this, right? That I, I do feel like that the game is still going to be doing decent, though. I'm not sure if... Uh, gamers are waking up, don't get me wrong, though. But we're talking about Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is a very big household name. It's a franchise. It's a very big franchise. People have... People recognize this game, right? So, 
it's gonna be very interesting to see the sales now we can have like a couple of different scenarios that might take place right maybe the game is gonna sell really really really, really good day one but ultimately then declines because you know people that wanted to buy they end up buying it and people that are choosing not to buy they're choosing not to buy and they're simply not gonna buy so ultimately day one uh weekend one crazy explosion in sales and then it's like it dies down right or it's gonna get that uh or it's gonna be like nobody buys it or it's gonna get more sales more sales why because everybody's talking about this game negative negativity actually sells uh negative marketing is what this game is getting people are, are fed up with the japanese people are talking i mean the government is getting involved for crying out loud they have caught the guy thomas lockley that faked uh, Yasuke being a, a samurai, right? So they caught him with his pants down right now, metaphorically speaking. And, and apparently, he were learning. He was a prof. He was a professor. Was a professor. They're getting rid of him, uh, removing his uh, crap right now. I, I guess he's legitimately getting canceled in Japan. I don't think anybody should be getting canceled to that extent. Extend though, but but he should he should be you know what uh, brought in front. He sh they should bring him out, right? He should apologize. There should be some fines he should be fined for spreading lies and disrespecting an entire culture japanese culture and ubisoft should also be held accountable yeah that was the word that i was looking for he should be thomas lockley should be brought forward he should be held accountable i don't think ubisoft i don't think uh anybody should be getting canceled per se yes ubisoft is getting canceled and i understand where people are coming from right i i totally see everybody's point of view here but but i don't think anybody should get canceled but they should definitely definitely see a decline in sales okay if you genuinely believe that they are disrespecting your culture if you're genuinely think that what they're doing is wrong you should not buy the game but if you have no problem i mean it's your money at the end of the day you do you you can go ahead and buy the game that's simply put that's where i'm at with it but check this but this is usually what we can say that uh, what we've been observing and measuring uh, is that uh, our two uh, big titles actually are indeed uh, among the most awaited uh, games of the of the Brand. industry and they uh, enjoy a very strong positive community sense yeah we're very good we're very, very, very. and now i want to bring you this roll it uh, shout out to dread robert uh robert uh, roberts 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 i always mispronounce you know. it you've got the upper echelon roberts, of the yeah. japanese government hammering down on this trying to figure out what's going on with this game what's going on with the yasuke author who is actually a university professor which is absolutely hilarious and eventually they're going to get to the bottom of things but in the meantime this guy's career is definitely in flames in fact it Wait is it. pretty much over he's hiding he's probably wearing mission impossible masks shielding his face from everybody in japan while trying to figure out how he can escape as quickly as possible. He already removed himself from social media, but things have gotten even worse for him because all the Japanese people that used to work with him at Nihon University are realizing, hey, not only was this guy a fraud, but he's also running from the truth and trying to pretend that nothing's happening and that he can just escape. So let's go to the article and read it right here. This is translated from Japanese and this is from domestic Twitter breaking news. In the assassin problem, the University of Japan erased the career of associate professor Rockley and NHK deleted the program. So this is actually- uh, Rockley or Lockley? Thomas Lockley. So so I, I believe there was a... Uh, mistake there with the R word there, I guess. She translated into broken English, so it's really hard to read. But what it says here, basically, is that they are removing his program, okay? So Thomas Lockley's program at the university is removed. They have removed his resume. They have removed his career. I mean, they've erased it. All of the things that he had done at that university have been all but wiped from the face of the earth, just like he is wiping himself from the face of the earth. There's also rising concern that maybe they hired him based on his work of fiction, which could hurt their reputation, so they're probably trying to remediate that as soon as possible. Naturally, Crazy. some people wonder how Associate Professor Lockley was able to get Get a job at the Japan University yeah, in the first place. Yeah. If Yasuke was a black man and Nobunaga's uh, subordinate, the story could spread that whites were against black slaves, but Japan people were happy to use them. So there are a lot of problems with this facade. Racism can be applied to this situation from whatever angle you look at it. You've got a black samurai in a video game slaughtering a bunch of Japanese people based on a historical lie, a lie that they have run with and interviewed the author of, just so they can put that stuff in the game. This is apart from Ubisoft, of course, hiring LGBT expert historians who study same-sex relationships between priests and adolescent boys, but of course, that is another story. Damn but as it man. says here, surprisingly, yeah. NHK has also produced a program called Black Samurai Yasuke, an African samurai who served Nobunaga. As of July 19th, it is no longer available to watch. So no way. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No way. Holy crap. Holy crap. So you're... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? What? Bruh. No! So you're saying that the 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 documentary black samurai, Yasuke samurai, legendary samurai, the book or the whatever he made, 
is no longer out there to be purchased that is crazy bro so he's done this is what happens when you mess with gamers on both sides of the aisle you're just gonna have your career down the toilet and honestly ubisoft you are in hot water for running with this guy's life for all this time and i can't imagine what the reception for this game is going to be now considering everything that's happening as grum says here gamers win again thomas lockley has been taken down in japan for his fake history two years to stop dei and gaming you can do it don't buy assassin's creed shadows don't buy star wars outlaws don't buy anything on the dei detected look you don't have to even listen to grums on this you can hear it from yeah listen here this is where i stand right if you're somebody that like what you see go for it if you don't like it if you think this is disrespecting your culture or you also believe that they're disrespecting other people culture because listen here man if you care for your own culture right uh, you never know when they're gonna come after your culture this is the way i see it okay B because some people definitely act like not saying you guys specifically or you watching specifically not saying that you directly but there are some people that that believe that okay so somebody else is hurting yeah, it's not my problem, right? Like, whatever, right? But, guys, like, it might n come knocking on your door too next. So, it, they might uh, come after your culture as well. Uh, if you care for your culture, now, some people don't even have, uh, don't even care for their culture. Some people do. In this case, uh, people that are speaking out, they do care for their culture. And uh, people don't want woke ideal uh, identities, ideologies in their game either. People are just fed up with it, man. Because uh, th this is what happens when you try to ruin everything around and you ruin people's entertainment people uh uh yeah be because like here's the thing though and they're acting like nothing has happened now let's forget about the woke crap and forget about like yasuke being a samurai not a samurai a retainer not a retainer uh you know they of course made him gay as well that's like real disrespectful because he was not gay if he was makes sense we talked about it numerous times but he was not and they still made him gay so uh forget about all the woke stuff and all that Star Wars, bro, don't even like look that good. You know what I mean? Assassin's Creed gameplay wise, don't even look that good. I would still say Assassin's Creed gameplay wise, in comparison to Star Wars Outlaw gameplay, okay, it looks better. But like, that doesn't say much though. We're talking Ubisoft here. The games don't even look that good though. So, like, yeah, if you like what you see, I mean, go for it. But that tells uh, me that your taste is not that good. I'm just gonna be honest, okay? like throw it in the garbage where it belongs that's that's where these games belong a absolutely i don't think I, I didn't think i would say that but uh yeah these games belong in the garbage bro uh these games belong in the garbage from my perspective you can hear from a whole bunch of other people's perspectives both of these games look like trash they look underdeveloped <laughs> they look like they came out in 2018 they're being produced yeah. by a company uh, he's being very generous by saying 2018 when i saw, saw a star wars outlaw gameplay that gameplay looked like ps3 ps3 whose stock has dropped dramatically, which we'll get to in just a second. And I'm not just talking about in the last couple of days, I'm talking about over a long period of time. But as per the screenshot, word of the person who perpetuated and enabled this lie since 2015 is being talked about all over by the people of Japan. Nihon University Associate Professor Lockley spread the lie that Japanese people were the leaders in slavery to the world. In response to this uproar, Nihon University has removed Associate Professor Lockley's record and NHK has removed the program. I hope that NHK will be called to testify and find out why they tried to spread the lie that japan enslaved black people i can't even imagine what people in charge of nihon university are thinking about this guy who they have employed for a number of years how much of this stuff that he was saying in his many thesis papers and his classes whatever he taught at that university Holy. how much of it was a lie it's gonna be really amazing to uncover as the days go by nobody is yeah. on this guy's side right now not even wikipedia as it says right here from permaband a little something funny i noticed wikipedia editors are doing concerning thomas lockley some are trying to vote on scrubbing lockley's wikipedia page from the website yasuke's wikipedia Damn. page still has the samurai edits i wonder why? Well, it's probably because some people in Wikipedia are trying to defend this nonsensical story about Yasuke being a samurai. They hate the fact that people have uncovered the truth, and now they're trying to suppress it as much as they can before it's inevitably ripped apart by people. Yo, Thomas Lockley is like going in Diddy style right now. He's like, no, I'm out it. No, I'm outie. Deuces. No Diddy. Yeah, man, he's like trying to flee the scene right now. And what's funny to me is that every time he's like in interviews in Japan, this is what I've been reading, right? Like, this is what's being reported right now, like... Uh, so every time he's in Japan and he does interviews, he's like, Bro, I don't know. I don't know, Yasuke, we don't know. I don't think he was a samurai. I don't think... Everywhere else, he's like, Yeah, he was a samurai, yeah! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was a samurai. Ubisoft makes this game based off of his book and Wikipedia. Just let that sink in. In primary school, when I, uh, when I was in primary school, like uh, 10 to 15 years ago, something like that, uh, almost kind of, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just say 12 years, something like that, right? 
teachers, the first thing the teachers would tell me, and, and mind you, I'm in Montreal, right? So I went to a French school. Uh, C'est là-bas que j'ai appris le français. Like, that's where I learned the, the français, the French, the baguettes, the calis, the tabernacle, ah ouais, si, ah ouais, je pète, et là. So that's where I learned all that. Uh, and, and yeah, those teachers would tell me that, uh, don't trust the Wikipedia, brother. <laughs> don't tell, don't, don't, don't believe it, man. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Don't trust it. So that's like the, 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 the first thing they teach you in school to not trust Wikipedia. Don't trust the sources. But if you cannot find it, you can look at it, but don't trust it, okay? That's not the, the end all be all. That's not the source. That's never use Wikipedia as a source. But these seconds were like, let's uh, make make a game and let's just disrespect an entire culture. And on top, let's let's make him gay, you know, black and gay, black and gay. Let's uh, make him, let's, you know, one one stone, uh, two birds. You know what I'm saying? Black and gay. That's uh, And yeah, my black homies are also like, hey, bro, like, why it gotta be us, right? Like, why you suck is always gonna make us black and gay. And I know some of you guys are like sitting back, right? Guys, it is time that you stand up. Stand up, okay, stand up, okay? Take your hands, jump on the, the, the field, man. You also need to be on the field, bro. Like, stop, like, chilling like that, Bruh. man. Because I know a lot of people are chilling like that still, but you need to be on the field too, brothers. You need to be on the field too, man. People everywhere. Wikipedia is just becoming insane. You can't trust anything that comes from it anymore. It has really good information in some ways, but in other ways, you've got really demented, dark willed people who just want to spread lies they, and they want to hold on to those lies as long as they can. But it says right here in this photo an editor has nominated this article for deletion. Thomas Lockley, born 1978, is an English educator residing in Japan. They just cannot stand that this guy has profited in such a twisted way all this time. Even famous people are taking notice of this and they are mad as well. You've got a comedian who is expressing his <laughs> anger, which is mind-blowing famous Japanese comedian with over 3 million followers has spoken out with his concerns about Assassin's Creed shadows Atsushi Tamura is part of the company duo London boots one two three Ronbu this issue with Ubisoft is now nuclear levels in Japan it's insane dude how badly this is being received by the Japanese people again the Japanese people are not an easily offended people you have to do something really insane to get an entire nation mad or at least a huge chunk of the nation mad to where they're sending letters to the people that they vote for in the Japanese government so that they can investigate this stuff this that is, is how crazy. offended did, this guy has made these people. Quote, the game Assassin's Creed Shadows, is it a disrespect for Japanese culture? Suspicion of unauthorized use of cultural property? It started with questions like, is it fiction or non-fiction? Then various things came to light and it developed into a problem outside the game. I learned that it has developed into a problem that the unacceptable historical perception of Yasuke, a black man who served Oda Nobunaga, is spreading around the world. I am very sorry that I was not able to delve deeper into this during last week's Abapura broadcast. Until now, I had thought that if it was fiction, it was fine to depict it however you wanted within the work, but I realized that the problem this time was that even though there were no sources or documents, descriptions created from imagination were being recognized as if they were historical fact. Exactly. That's the problem that a lot of people have. That's In fact, that's the majority of the problem that people are refusing to acknowledge on the other side of this argument. But he goes on to say, and a path was being created for them to be recognized and that this information was spreading throughout the world. And did Thomas mm. Lockley say anything about this to try and correct mm. the falsities in this story? No, he nope. did not. He ran with nope. it. He profited off of it. He's been on Ubisoft interviews. He's been on podcasts, propping up the game propping up his work he's been going into wikipedia changing it for years no wonder this dude is in hiding but he continues i have never played this game but as a japanese citizen who became interested in castles when i was in elementary school and then in japan sengoku period and has since developed a love for japanese history i would like to speak out about this issue i would like to thank everyone who has used such clear and polite language to help me change my perception so at first oh, this wow. guy wasn't too easy to convince on the subject of assassin's creed shadows he was like ah it's, it's a work of fiction they can do whatever they want but really this is the perception that a lot of people in the united states have about yasuke not everybody and, and, and just like two three days ago almost we, we covered it already right like so ubisoft came out and they said that it's not it's not historical uh fiction it's historically accurate <laughs> and if you play the game you're gonna learn uh, the the history of japan yeah this i'm paraphrasing but this is what they said that is historically accurate so there we go boys there we go oh to all the people that were like e e e it's historically uh, fiction man it's, it's, it's fix fiction I, I i hear you homie but ubisoft themselves are saying that no it's historically accurate. You're gonna learn the real history of Japan. And you got Japan themselves are saying that now, bro. This is not historically accurate, bro. <laughs> They're getting the Popo involved. They're getting the law involved right now. They're getting the Thomas Lockley. He's on the run right now. 
going in Diddy style right now is crazy. Bro. But he knows that he wasn't a samurai, and they've been running with this idea for many years. They've made a Netflix show about it. They made an Afro Samurai video game and TV show about it years ago. They've been running with this for many, many years. And I've even had people in my comments say that the sources for Yasuke being a samurai was a children's book written in 1968, but it also runs off of the same exact information that Thomas Lockley does, aka not enough information to come to that conclusion that he was a samurai, which by the way, Thomas Lockley admitted in a podcast he wasn't even sure what samurai meant in that period. All right, this guy's a liar, and those people who are defending him are liars too. And he says, if there is anyone who is angry that my understanding does not extend beyond their own and resorts to emotional, verbal abuse, I would like to request disclosure of information and take appropriate action. So, boom, there you have it. Comedian's words right there. Three million followers, okay? And now he has said those things to all of the people that follow him. That means even more people know about what's going on with Yasuke. You don't believe me? Check it out, Holy. dude. This is from Grums. Ubisoft and Yasuke oh, are trending. Man. Keep the pressure up on Ubisoft. No sale. Ubisoft, 8,000 posts. Gaming trending. Yasuke, 14,000 posts. No, no, listen. If you really want stuff to change, if you really want your gaming back, I mean, like, the good gaming, you know, the good games. Well, you're looking at Batman Arkham Knight gameplay in the background right now, okay? Shout out to MK Icefire for this gameplay. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, this game came out, like, 2010s, 2015s, uh, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? But but still, like, it, it either came out, like, early 2010s or around, like, 2015 era. I think it came out around, like, 2014, 2015, if I'm not mistaken. But still, this game came out during the PS3, PS4 era, PS4 era, right? And it looks, still looks this good. And this one is considered to be a certified hood classic, certified banger. Uh, and, and nowadays, tell me one game that that comes closer to this game. They made uh, the, they made the new game, right? Just uh, Gotham Knights that flopped as well. Go figure. J uh, Suicide Squad Justice League flop. Saints Row was considered very very good. It was like considered that GTA competitor in a way. Uh, people would still like joke around it, call it like Dollarama version, whatever, uh, Saints Row. But but I remember when that was apparently like super big too. So they made a new one, added like the woke stuff in it. Ultimately had to shut down their studio because they didn't see sales coming in. Concord, fresh, new game by PlayStation. And listen, I'll play on PlayStation though, okay? Facts are facts, right? Like this is not like an Xbox Andy talking, Sony Pony talking. Right? I, I miss the days when we were like all joking uh, with like Sony ponies and Xbox Andes, right? Like that used to be like big drama. Nowadays it's like this drama. And then you poison I uh, poison Ivy come in with that. Hey, 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 yo, tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, man. Tranquilo. Batman, tranquilo right there. So if you want like good games back, if you want gaming back, listen, man, you need to voice your opinion and you also gotta vote with your wallets. Otherwise, these suckers are not gonna stop. And it's gonna get worse before it gets better. We're gonna keep on seeing what crap they're gonna keep on destroying the franchise because there are games currently in the works right now that are gonna be coming out in two years, three years, four years, five years from now, right? And they're most probably gonna be woke. So once they see you voting with your wallets, they're probably gonna be like, damn, okay, we cannot do this. So it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Uh, so keep voting with your wallets, guys. Keep talking about this one if you want games to become the way they used to be back in the days. Passion projects, good games without any politics, without any BS like that. Just good games, man. Just good games. That's what we want, man. Just good games, man. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened as well. We had some good news. This is, uh, you know, some real good gaming news as well with PlayStation, PS5 Pro, GTA 6. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Backwards compatibility. Check out this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video. Uh, check out the video on the left.